And even if she is, whatever. I can't remember if she walks in the other one.
join us. Join the party. There's room for more. There's room for more. Join us. There's room for more. <laughs> Meow, do not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your mind. You will build strange and complex worlds using only your imagination and your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15 second videos of this. They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. Choose wisely though, because everybody else will then answer yes or no and you will earn more points if you split the room. Fitting name, huh? At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. Consider this. Would you rather live in a world where nobody asked would you rather questions, or would you rather split the room? the scenario that was sent to your device. This one is called One Fright Stand. If you get scared, you see ghosts for four hours. The spirits don't hurt you, they just do this. After watching a very terrifying horror movie, your date invites you back to their place for coffee. Do you go?
The longer it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. This scenario is called... Clear the dance floor. Your fiancé has their heart set on a particular song for your first dance. Unfortunately, it's an acoustic cover of this song, sung by this person. Do you make them happy by saying yes? Brace yourself for one last wish. On her deathbed, your grandmother offers you a painting that has been in the family for generations. It depicts this. Her last words to you, please hang it up in your living room. Do you hang it up? And now, Binge Pipe presents Attack of Your Clone. Scientists make your clone. It looks and sounds exactly like you. In fact, every detail about it is accurate, except for one thing. It's really, really into this. As the original, you have the right to destroy it. Do you? where things stand at the moment. <laughs> it's time to create some more havoc. Feast your eyes on driving up ratings. You're a rideshare driver. If you end the day with a five-star rating, you get this. A terrible passenger demands you run a red light. Do you?
And now, the cowboy curse. Every time you ride a horse, you save a cowboy's life. One day, you stumble upon a horse that's doing this. Do you ride it? Next is Radiant Rocks. A meteorite has been discovered in Antarctica. Laying hands on it will give you flawless skin. Some people have reported this as a side effect. You get a free chance to touch it, do you? Get ready for the saint versus the scoundrel. You run a charity that feeds and clothes the poor, but an evil billionaire decides that every time you raise $10 to help the unfortunate, he will do this. Do you still help the poor? stacks up at the moment. We've reached the decisive dimension. Everybody will be presented with a new type of scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is already provided. You will decide what's behind door number two. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh, and if you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Write an option that you think only some people would choose. big movie star, but now you're washed up, Streep. You have two options to get your career back. You could do a sitcom with a talking emu or a show about this. Which project do you pursue? Play 
reír. Beating the high score in a magical arcade game, you receive a special video game ability that works in the real world. You can either get an extra life or this. Which real world video game ability do you choose? You just earned some bonus points. It all comes down to this. Everybody, please make sure you're sharing the outlets. Other people need to plug in their laptops to write their screenplays.
We got a bagel with lock spread for Ryan. Bagel with lock spread for Ryan. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. Right now, I'm looking at four lucky people on a rocket ship to riches. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. That's right, Lena. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do something we call market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it. your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. That's half your time. Fantastic! Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is when ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And remember, color is your friend. Way there. Let's 
Okay, let's wrap those drawings up. You are all naturals. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people say, take all my money, take it right now. Let's go. Halfway there. Great! Now each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, Lena. Now let's see those inventions. Let the masters show you how it's done. Hey, Tobes, seems as if you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I'm too darn old to do this. That is a problem, but I think I've got just what you need. It's just a little thing called... Oh, yeah, that sounds great, but what does it look like? Glad you asked. Take a look at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. This looks great, Lena, but without a tagline, I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this. Beautiful. Darn straight. And scene. a smaller this. Well, I've got the fix. It's called... I'm excited already. Let's see it. Take a look. Whoa, that's amazing. Now wrap it up with a tagline. Then take a gander here. And scene. I simply want everyone to do this. Well, I've got the fix. Just call it. Show me those sweet art skills. Ready? Take a look. Ah, all it needs is a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And that's how it's done, everybody. I am always getting stuck with this. That's going around, but there's a solution. It's simply called... Make my eye holes happy already. Take a gander. Well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. Now don't screw it up with some lame tagline. Get ready. And scene. Great job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Now, let's make some money.
hurry, but that's half your time. Tick-tock, time's running out. Great, now let's see which inventions got people excited. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Maybe next time. Nice! Close, but no cigar! So sad! That's it! Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. How much fun is that? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck! And the honor of choosing that final problem goes to... You! Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. Choice. Okay, you know what's next. Let's draw. Okay, let's make those titles and taglines. be halfway done.
move on. Time's almost up. Right, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. I just have way too many these. Well, I've got a solution. I like to call it... Don't keep my eyes waiting. Take a look-see. Look at that! Bring it home with a tagline. Here it is. And scene. <laughs> I just have way too many these. Then I've got the perfect solution. I call it... Let's get artsy fartsy. Well, take a look, silly. It's perfect! Now show me that sweet, sweet tagline. Let's see it! And scene! I just have way too many these. Well, I've got a solution. Just call it... What's it look like? Let me show you. Nice! All it's missing is a tagline. Here we go. And that's how it's done, everybody. I just have way too many these. Then I've got something for you. It's simply called... I'm with you. Let's see it. Well, looky here. Now let's see that drawing. I mean tagline. Well, you're in luck. And scene. All right, gang. Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. Halfway there. <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> Maybe next time. Nailed it! Way to go! That's it! Congratulations! You clearly have the gift of invention! Now for some bad news! You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Patently stupid, that's what they say. You've got an idea, hey, just tell us today.
investors to give you some cash. Soon you'll be a millionaire. Toby and Lena, they used to be wed. They still work together, but they don't share a
Yep. Oh yeah. Hello, art lovers. Welcome to this invitation-only secret art auction. The world's richest, most powerful art buyers wanted desperately to attend. But these must be end times because somehow you four were invited. Yep, oh yeah! <laughs> yes, please! Remember, you break it, you bought it. Regardless, before we get started, we'll need some art to auction off. If you look at your device, you'll see I've securely transmitted the title of an art piece I'll need you to draw. Draw a piece of art with your device that would have that title as quickly and as accurately as you can. Feel free to take a few extra seconds to make your drawing so good that it's undeniably a piece of art. If someone else buys your art in the auction, you'll receive 50% of the auction price. Waiting for things is beneath me, so make it snappy. You'll actually need to draw two drawings before this timer runs out, so don't be too precious about it. Approximately halfway through the allotted drawing time. So, if you haven't moved on to your second drawing yet, it's time to admit that you're stalling for time. Wonderful! I see all the art is in. A few quick words about how the auction is going to work. We're going to auction off ten drawings. Some drawings are worth a great deal of money to the art buyers who couldn't attend the auction, and others are worth a great deal less. You'll each begin the auction with three thousand dollars. Well, look who's fancy. Fine, on with the game. The first item up for bid. The bidding will begin at $400. I'm looking for 400. Do I have 400? I'm looking for $400. Can I get 4? Yes, please. I am looking for is $500. Do I see $500? Going once. Going twice. <laughs> now we're looking for $600. Do I see $600? Who here would like to offer $600? Yes, please. Do I see $700? Who here among you can show me $700? 700 is a pittance for such a piece of artwork as this, and I am ship. Yep. Now I oh, yeah. Who can show me 1000? I am looking for 1000. Yep. Now I am looking for a bid of $1200. $1200. Still a meager price to pay for this fine piece before you. 1200. Zero, zero. The current bid that I am forever searching for is $1200. Who among you has the bravery, the fortitude to bid $1200? Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations to Blue for winning that auction. Let's reveal the artist behind this inspiring piece of art. All right then, Purple. Half of this money goes to the house, and the other half goes to you. 
A fine showing. But more importantly, let's see how much money Blue can fetch for selling this piece of art. Look at all that fake money you earned. We'll just set this money aside for you, Blue. Then it can be added to your tally at the end of the game. Moving on. How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I see $400? Yes, please. Now I'm looking for $500. Do I see $500? Yep. Now I'm looking for $800. Do I see $800? $800 is what we're looking for. Going once. Going twice. So. Congratulations, Blue! Winner in the house! On we go! The bidding will begin at $400. I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? Yes, please! I'm looking for is $500. Do I see $500? Going once. Going twice. Sold! You won this one, Green. Okay, Green. Your strategy was to buy artwork you had drawn yourself. That's a pretty good sense of self-esteem. Unfortunately, you don't get your own money back when you buy your own piece of art, so this money is all staying with the house. <laughs> Moving on. How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Anyone? Anyone at all? Yes, please. Now I'm looking for $500. Do I see $500? Oh, yeah. The next bid. Yep. $900. Oh, yeah. $1,000. Do I see $1,000? I am looking for $1,000. Going once. Going twice. So, Congratulations, Purple. Well done, money bags. Next up. Yellow, are you okay? The bidding will begin at $400. I am looking for $400. $400. Anyone? Yes, please. Who can give me $700? Can I get $700? What I'm looking for is seven. Yep. Can I see $900? Who here can show me $900? I would like $900. Going once. Going twice. Congratulations, Blue! Nothing but caviar and champagne from now on. Moving right along. We've reached the halfway point. Let's make this game a little less friendly. You each have one screw. Use it to force another player to bid, assuming they still have enough money. Use it wisely. Or don't. I'm not going to tell you how to or not to screw. Oh, look, it's the lone people. Running low on money? Predatory loans can help. Just press the loan button on your device now and get $1,000 that you can use in auctions right away. Oh, sure, at the end of the game, you will owe back $1,500. But so what? It's fun. And remember, if you want to borrow money between auctions, just hit the Call Predatory Loans button on your device. Predatory Loans! Honestly, we don't think the host is really British. How about we start the bidding? Yep. Next is $700. Do I see $700? I would like to get $700. Going once. Going green. Blue, you've been screwed. 
Yep. We have 700. Next up is $800. Who here can give me $800? The next bid is $800. Going once. Going twice. Oh yeah! Do I see- Yes, please! 1,000 is what I'm looking for. Who here can show me $1,000? I would like to see $1,000. Going once. Going twice. Oh yeah! Now I am looking- Yes, please! $1,200 is what we're looking for. Do I see 1,200? Can I see 1,200? Oh yeah! Can I get $1,300? I'm looking for $1,300. The next bid is $1,300. Going once. Going twice. Yep. Show me $1,400. I would like to see $1,400. Oh yeah! Now we're at $1,500. I am looking for $1,500. Who would like to show me $1,500? Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Purple. Well, look who hit the jackpot. The bidding will begin at $400. Do I see $400? I'm looking for four. Yep. Next is $700. Oh, yeah. Now I'm looking for. Yes, please. Now I'd like to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next up. Yep. Do I see. Yes, please. Give me $1,900. I would like. Oh, yeah. How about. <laughs> All right, Blue. Look. Oh, Yellow. You're screwed. I see $2,000. 2100 The next bid is... Tw oh, yeah! We're now looking for 2200 Who here can show me $2,200? <laughs> Who's going to give me $2,300? Can I see $2,300? I would like to see 20... Yes, please! I am now looking for $2,400. Who can show me $2,400? I would like to see... <laughs> We have reached $2,500. Can I get $2,500? I would like $2,500. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congrats, Yellow. Get a load of you and all your success. Moving along. Oh, come on. The bank is annoying, right? Predatory loans. If you're talking to us, something's probably gone wrong. How about we start the bidding at $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? I'm looking for... Yep. Who can... Oh, yeah! Who can show me 1000? I am looking for $1000. The next bid will be $1000. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, purple. <laughs> Moving on. Wonderful. Someone called the bank. <laughs> It's a horrible deal, but you might not have a choice. The bidding will begin at $400. Do I see $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I see $400? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Who's got $1,400? Do yes, please. Show me seventeen hundred. Yep. How a yes, please. Twenty three hundred. The next bid is twenty three hundred dollars. So I am looking for twenty three hundred. Yep. The next yes, please. We have made it to twenty seven hundred. All right, purple. You have been screwed, blue. 
Yep. Thank you, $2,700. Can I see $2,800? The next... Yes, please. We are making art auction history. $2,900. I've spent that much on a sandwich. And you're going to spend it now on this piece of art. $2,900 is the next bid. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Green. Ooh, ouch. On we go. Oh, great. One of you called the bank. Credits are reloaned. Don't worry your pretty head about the consequences. How about... Oh, yeah. I am looking for is $500. Do I see $500? Yes, please. Next. Yep. Now... Yes. Can I... Yes, please. Now, I would like to see 50... All right, yellow. Look down at your device and pick a player to screw. Purple, you got screwed. Oh, yeah! $1,500. We are now looking for six... Yep! Oh, oh yeah! Yep! Ten... Oh, yeah! Next... Yes, please! Next up, $2,700. Yep! $2,900, please! Who would like... Yes, please! Three thousand. I am looking for three thousand dollars. Can I see three thousand? Who can offer three thousand? Going once. Going twice. So you won this one, Green. Well, that was quite a windfall. Now, let's reveal everyone's secrets!
Okay, there's four of you. I guess my son isn't the only one who has online friends. Take that, Toby. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Let's embark on a journey we'll never forget. Hey, I'm Todd. And just like an ad for those shoes you looked at earlier, I'm going to stalk you across many different websites. Before we begin, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a web forum. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now. Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Vote now.
and here are the results. Let's see what the audience thought. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oof. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a uh, check-in site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Do I know you guys? Weren't we all tagged in a spam ad for sunglasses or something? Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Beep boop boop beep beep. Engage. Hi, I'm your host, Todd. And yes, that rhymes with bod. So feel free to call me Todd the Bod. In case you need some instructions, okay, let's treat this like an ad and skip it. Let's start things off at a... Social media site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible.
It's the moment of truth. for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. Let's see how everybody voted. Here's who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Great. Now let's go to, uh... Video site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. Oh. 
Here's what people think. Dang, you got played, son. Let's see what that round did to things. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, e-commerce site. Check out this new prompt. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Alright, you know the drill. Okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Let's get those boats in. Let's see who got the points. Let's check the scoreboard. And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back.
Our journey has led us to this moment. It's voting time. Okay, here are the verdicts. You got spanked. <laughs> oh man, it all comes down to this. And here's where the winners go.
to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. I'm now initiating security protocol Lipstick Servo Bunion, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that one of you is secretly an alien. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you are human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. By my calculations, you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the alien is, and then push the button. You will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. I'm pretty proud of it. Choose an available room and your desired participants. I don't mean to freak anybody out, but I think the writing pod is haunted. Time's up, former captain. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 11 minutes. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out- Humans, got. I'm obsessed with politics. And go. Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, one among you is an alien and will be lying. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Yeah. 
Uh-oh. It seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, aliens can choose to help themselves and switch their own prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Welcome to the Deliberation Deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. Here is the human prompt. Your worst enemy is $100 away from raising enough for a life-saving surgery. You donate. What do we think? Now you have to decide who's an alien, or just make shareable life decisions. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. Look at your device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicions. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Fun fact about me. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill in the blank prompt. Answer honestly because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. Here's the correct prompt. If I had to say a catchphrase every time I entered a room, I'd say... Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Yeah. 
The bioscanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. The Bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. The test has failed. Okay, that was suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Spaceships are supposed to crumble like that. Next, Captain. Go, go, go! There's less than two minutes. Pick quick, please, I'm getting scrambled. Let's see the human prompt. Two goons promise not to beat you up if you give them $100. You immediately. I sure hope these responses were worth it. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Oh, 
You ran out of time? Is this my fault? Should I have screamed at you more?
Welcome to the Scrollaceum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up! In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set, off we go. Seconds remain, players need to name their character. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs, because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold.
20 second warning, name those characters. It's time for the main event. Here comes our first brave warrior. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of pacifism. Oh, that might do it. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. Now that's how you don't fight. In this corner we've got... They'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of mommy issues. More like a world chump, I'm just saying. My goodness! Deep-seated trauma for the win! Now entering the ring! And opposing them will be... One of them will be crowned the champion of annoying pests! The Dramageddon! Irritating their way to the top. Next up it'll be... Versus... These two are facing off to see who is the champion of making this player vomit. You hate to see this, it's a forfeit. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores.
20 second warning. Name those characters. It's time to name those characters. It's the second half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each matchup will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled and votes for both contests will be cumulative. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. One of them will be the champion of stage fright. That all she wrote. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of pelted with rotten tomatoes. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? Here come the reinforcements. These two. Two new fighters enter the ring. Who is the champion of the talent show? This has become a one sided match. We'll declare a winner after this next match. The champion of useless superpowers. The trainers have a decision to make. They're 
going to the bench. Yeah, in the car, it's about over. Who needs a teammate? Not this fighter. Here's our next matchup. You will decide who is the champion of nature. This next contest could swing things. The champion of nurture. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. Welcome to Slamtown! And the cheese stands alone! It's time for our next bout! Who is the champion of hipsters? This might be over. It all comes down to this next match. The champion of trying too hard. This is what will the trainers do? Let's see. That'll leave a mark. Two fighters! Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores, and... We have a winner!
let's go. Time to compete, swish, slash. Now you're drawing, ding, ding. Time for brawling, who will be the goat? It depends on the boat. Enter the stadium. Who is your challenger? Soon when the battle starts.
every crowd cheers They can feel the drums pound Like a heartbeat, let's go Time to compete, swish, slash Now you're drawing, ding, ding Time for brawling, who will Be the goat, it depends On the vote Enter the stadium Who is your challenger Soon when the battle starts
of cheers They can feel the drums pound Like a heartbeat, let's go Time to compete, swish, slash Now you're drawing, ding, ding Time for brawling, who will Be the goat, it depends On the boat Enter the stadium Who is your challenger Soon when the battle starts
of cheese They can feel the drums pound Like a heartbeat, let's go Time to complete switch slash Now you're drawing ding ding Time for brawling, who will Be the goat, it depends on the boat Enter the stadium Who is your challenger? Soon when the battle starts
crowd cheers They can feel the drums pound Like a heartbeat, let's go Time to complete switch slash Now you're drawing ding ding Time for brawling, who will Be the goat, it depends on the boat Enter the stadium Who is your challenger? Soon when the battle starts Chants are growing loud.